babes welcome back to my channel it is your girl Haley j here for those of you who are new and today i'm bringing y'all another client tutorial this is my girl kason if y'all have been on this channel for a while y'all probably seen her in a previous video but we are doing a cute soft glam with a pop of pink on her today so as y'all know i always start off with priming the skin i'm taking my handy dandy Emberly's moisturizer okay one of my favorites it just melts into the skin so nicely and it gives the skin a nice glow. For primer, I'm using my Cover FX Gripping Primer, one of my favorites. If the client doesn't have just like super oily skin, this is a perfect primer. And I focus this on the center parts of her face. So um, basically the center parts of her cheeks, her nose, you know, the T-zone area mostly too. Because that's where most of the product is going to lie. So I just make sure I blend that in with a brush as well. And from here I go in with foundation. I always have a problem with matching, well not, I wouldn't say a problem, but like matching casing is a little difficult for me because I don't want it to be too dark, but then I don't want it to be too light. So if y'all see my palette right here, like it's so many colors on here. So um, I'll put down below which ones I think that I use, but I did a mix of colors on her, but it still came out really nicely. But I think when I do her face again, I, I want to do her lighter because y'all see as her face is a lot lighter than the rest of her body and I tend to match to the arms because I feel like that will give you that perfect match. So I am taking one of my foundation brushes. Um, this came in my MUA Life Kit from Morphe. I believe it's an E64 brush if I'm not mistaken. And I'm just basically just tapping that product in all over her face, making sure it is nice and blended. When you're finished with foundation, it should literally look like her skin. It should not look like a mask it should look like her skin it should be nice it should be dewy depending on the foundation that she's using it should be dewy and the foundation that i use is the nars natural radiant long wear foundation is one of my favorites it's very buildable for concealer i am taking cookie in the born this way concealer the multi multi sculpting concealer i believe it's called and i'm placing that under her eyes and i realized once i place because i have never used a shade before this was a new shade that i used i realized that it's very golden and she's more pink so after i applied this i was just going to use this as a base concealer and mix in another one so i mixed in the tarte shape tape i believe i might have used tan on her um i just put tan on her just to brighten that up and so it'll be just a nice even shade uh for her so when highlighting i apply underneath the eyes on top of the lip the forehead the bridge of the nose and the chin all of the center parts of her face because that's where the light touches the most and make sure i just get a nice even um application for that as well so it'll make it a lot easier when we go in to blend and it's always best to allow the concealer to dry down a bit before going in and blending it it just gives you a fuller coverage and it just makes it easier um, during the blending process so I like to multitask when doing faces because I like to get my girls in and out so I'm going in and filling in her brows earlier when I apply her foundation I did go ahead and shape out the top of her brows with that foundation and um, which makes it a lot easier to fill in so I am using the morphe micro brow pencil in Java to fill in her brows it's um, a nice you know brown shade so I filled her brows in and now I am going in to conceal and here I realized that I used um, the wrong concealer. It was too dark. So I believe this is probably tan sand that I used on accident. So as y'all see, I'm going in with a lighter concealer just to blend in with that darker one to give me that perfect shade that I need. Y'all, when I tell y'all while doing faces, it's literally like you just have to finesse the game you just have to know how to mix and just you know keep going with it like there's never any messing up you can always fix it so i do a lot of you know going back and forth and just even if i make a mistake i'm able to go back in and fix it makeup is an art so you know never get discouraged when you feel like you may have messed up because there's always a way to fix it so I'm just taking a flat um, brush, the same brush I used to just apply her foundation, but I 
um, wiped off the excess foundation off of that brush and I'm going in and sculpting out her brows. I'm getting as close as possible with the brush and just shaping out that brow. Always use the brow bone as a guide um, as to where you want to place the arch. So now that that is done and I'm allowing the eye concealer to dry before I go and blend uh, that out, I'm gonna take that foundation brush and blend out the edges of the of the concealer that I placed so it will mesh with the foundation better since there is leftover product on the brush. Also blend out the chin as well, the chin and the forehead because it's a smaller area and it, the, the beauty sponge is not really necessary um, for that just to, you know, also save time as well. And I'm taking some of that concealer that's left over on that brush and going underneath her cheeks just to do a little bit of reverse contouring. So now I'm going in because I saw that the under eye concealer was still a little bit wet. So I'm going in and I'm blending out the concealer that is on the lid. This is priming the eye for eyeshadow. I use this as my eyeshadow base. So I'm taking the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush and just patting that concealer into her skin. A beauty sponge these sponges are from Amazon and they are literally the bomb I will link them down below um, and I'm just pressing that product in I'm starting on the inner corner and just going all the way to the out um, the outsides of her face and just making sure I press that product all the way in getting it into her skin and nice and blended you want to apply light pressure when blending out the under eye because you don't want that sponge to pick up too much of the product. Now I'm going in with the Real Techniques Miracle Powder Sponge. This is one of the best sponges to apply loose setting powder because it doesn't absorb any of the powder. It literally allows the powder to sit on top of the sponge so you're applying all the powder that you picked up onto the face and everywhere I put that concealer I am placing that powder I like to make sure that the powder is nice and pressed in so I know that the face is set I am NOT a fan of baking yes there will be excess powder left over on the skin but later we will go in and dust that away but make sure your client is looking up when you're setting your concealer, especially um, setting the concealer under the eyes. That's where um, creasing tends to happen. So make sure you get powder in those areas so creasing will not happen. So like I said, everywhere I place that concealer, the chin, the lip, the bridge of the nose, the forehead, underneath the eyes, that whole center area of her face, I am setting that with this loose setting powder. And the setting powder that I'm using is the Derma Blend in Cool Beige, and I mixed it with the Revolution Banana Powder. And I'm also taking this underneath her cheek, um, doing a little bit of reverse contouring, and this is going to um, lighten up the area just a little bit just to brighten up um, the face. And I know she look a little ashy right now, y'all. Just trust the process, okay? <laughs> So now it is time to do her contour. I'm taking my Morphe E4 brush, one of my favorite angle brushes from Morphe, and just going in on the hollows of her cheek and sculpting out her face to give her face some shape because, you know, as y'all seen, she just looks really washed out and, you know, the face doesn't really have any structure. So contour, bronzer, blush, that all adds warmth and life back into the face. And the areas that you place this is on the forehead, the hollows of the cheeks, and the sides of the nose. Leap for her contour, I use the Morphe Complexion Palette. Um, I believe it's called Fair, if I'm not mistaken. It's the lightest shades that they have in that palette. And I mixed some of those um, contour shades to get her shade. 
but now I'm going in with the blush I use my warrior 2 palette from Juvia's place for a blush palette um, and I, it's an eyeshadow palette but I'm using the eyeshadows for blush let's say that so I, there's a red shade there's a red shade an orange shade and a pink shade and since she is more fair skin I'm using that pink shade and that orange shade and mixing those together because I like a nice orange tinge to my blushes so I mix those two together and now as I said before I'm dusting away that excess powder any powder that I see that's still on the skin and underneath her eyes and then I'm also going to apply a brightener powder underneath her eyes just to give her under eye a brighter effect and a more um, highlighted look So now I am moving on to eyeshadow. I'm making sure I blend out those creases on the lids that may have um, gotten there when she was looking up or opened her eyes. But I'm using that same Juvia's Place palette and I'm taking that light brown shade. It's in the top left corner of the palette and I am placing that on the outer um, corners of her eyes. When doing eyeshadow, since the area is wet, the lid is wet with concealer, you want to set the concealer just like you would set in the other parts of the face, just like we set the under eyes. You have to set that area, otherwise the application of the eyeshadow will look very muddy. So I like to just pat that concealer on in the areas that I would like to place it or the areas that I like to set. So here we're doing the outer corners and a little bit further into the crease and then you will be able to go in and blend it out because you have a nice matte area to drag the brush along rather than it being wet and the con wet concealer getting stuck in the um, hairs of the brush and it just it messes up the application so always set the area first before you go in with your blending motions and just to give her lid you know a little bit more pop I went in with some of my MAC pigments I'll put it down below not sure what color it is but it just gave her eye a little bit more pop and I'm using my Jaclyn Hill um, Morphe palette volume 2 to get this pink shade and just place it in the inner corners this was her Halloween makeup and she was wearing a pink outfit like a superhero outfit so this really I thought it would be cute to just in, um, incorporate that into her makeup as well without doing too much and as y'all see, I just swiped her nose with this brush, y'all. And I tell y'all, this upset me. But like I said earlier, we can always fix it. So I took a brush and I just dusted away as much of it as possible. And I was just trying to fix it and finesse it because I was not wiping this makeup off, okay? So I tried to just press some more translucent powder over it. That wasn't working. And I tried to just, you know, put more product. And I was like, you know what, Haley, we're wasting time right now. Let's just finish the rest of the face and we'll get back to it. So I put some white liner in her waterline just to make her eyes pop a little bit more and give her a dramatic effect. You know, it's Halloween, so why not? Um, this is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. It's a super creamy, and I love me a good creamy liner. It's a super creamy liner, and um, it just goes onto the waterline so well. So here y'all see me, I've taken some of that concealer and I have placed it on that brush, but I don't have much on there. I made sure the concealer wasn't super wet. So as y'all see, I'm wiping the excess off of my hand and I'm just pressing that concealer over that pink shadow just to kind of cover it up. So now I'll be able to go in with my powder and my loose powder again to set that area and go over it with, um, the contour powder along the sides of the nose so you see how it kind of disappeared now and um just to give her a little bit more warmth because those bron the um, contour shades that i used was just a little ashy and dull for me and i like my clients to be very warm so i'm taking my true complexion palette by black radiance and i'm using that sculpt shade and just going over those areas that i had previously contoured So now for lips, I'm lining her with Trendsetter, the Morphe Lip Pencil. I just started using these pencils and they are so bomb. They're nice and creamy and they glide onto the lip very easily. 
So I'm just lining her lips with this liner. It's um, it's a brown, but it has a very red tint to it, and it's super pretty. And since she's more fair skin, it pops more on her lips. And for the center of her lips, I believe I used Sweet Tooth by L'Oreal, their infallible liquid lipstick. I used Sweet Tooth in the center. It's a nice nude. Um, I really probably, I really wanted to do something more pink, but she said she liked it, so I didn't, um, I didn't take it off. But I am using a brush to, to apply this and just blend that into the liner as best I could, um, with this brush. And then as y'all see a little bit later, I took another brush just to blend those edges out. it's just like so satisfying to watch this because it just made it all one unit and then when we put that gloss on there y'all it's gonna look so bomb okay so bomb and the gloss i used um was the nyx butter gloss and fortune cookie because i still wanted the lip to be very light so i thought this would just you know brighten up the lip a little bit more it's a nice nude gloss so um yeah and i'm just taking a lip um is this a lip brush i guess a lip brush and just blending that into her lips and i'm gonna have her just blot her lips together so here i am taking some pressed powder i used the black radiance pressed powder in warm hazelnut just to give her skin a little bit more warmth as well um, so I'm taking that, you know, dusting that all over her face where I feel like she needs it. And now I am I'm applying some mascara to the bottom lashes because I love me some bottom mascara. Um, and this will complete the look. And I totally forgot. She texted me literally the next day and was like, you forgot to set my face and my face was stuck okay and it was still on and i was like what because we had got to talking y'all we sat there and talked and laughed for a minute and i forgot to set her face but if i were to set her face i would be using the morphe continuous setting spray and then i will go over it with the ben nye final seal which you can find on amazon so y'all this is it this completes the look i hope y'all enjoyed the video if y'all have any questions or any other videos or any um thing that y'all would like for me to go over just let me know down below in the comments and if you haven't already go ahead and click that subscribe button hit the notification bell so you will never miss another video and i will see you guys in the next one thank you so much for tuning in hey y'all